Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words shall never hurt me. The person who said that famous quote probably never had any friends, was a recluse, lived on a deserted island. For many of us, we thrive, survive, or die on the opinions of other people. I mean, let's take it, let's take YouTube for example. How many people do you know who have quit YouTube because somebody made a bad comment and I don't like people's negative comments, so I'm leaving YouTube. Somebody who you don't even know probably doesn't even know you at all writes a negative comment and you're ready to jump ship and I can't blame people that feel that way because all of us have some sense of sensitivity in our hearts about what people say things to us now let's take that into the weight loss psyche the weight loss thinking here how many of you have busted your butt to lose weight and the scale starts dropping slowly, slowly, slowly? You're losing one dress size, two dress sizes, pant size, the belts don't, you know, the belts are getting uh, longer, um, the belts are getting tighter, you know, because you're tightening your belt because you're losing all kinds of weight. And nobody is saying squat to you. Nobody says squat to you. Nobody says anything to you. Somebody staring at me. I can feel it in the floor. Somebody right next to me is staring at me. Anyway, so how many of you are like that? Nobody says squat and, and you're like, why even try? Nobody said anything. But the moment somebody comes up to you and says, hey, are you losing weight? Man, it's like taking speed. It's like... Yeah, I'm losing weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody noticed and you want to get back in the gym and start working out again. We have to be careful because that's a double-edged sword. Sometimes we that can be that can work positive towards you or negative towards you. Now, in the last 3 months since I started working out, I have lost about 45 pounds. And I'm going to say, well, roughly Three people have said, hey, are you losing weight? And you gotta realize I'm around a lot of people all the time. And I can't concentrate on, well, am I gonna get a comment or not? Now, other things have happened as well. I lost 45 pounds, and I go to Angel Stadium, and I'm going to um, show you a little clip here of something that happened when I went to Angel Stadium. So, let's go to the clip right now. How you doing, man? Good, thanks. There you go. You want to go to the dark gate over there? For me? So you can go to the dark gate. Okay. Fine. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you, sir. That sweet little old lady, she stops me and she points me to my left where there is a big gate where big, fat people can walk through it. Now, I want her to look at her and say, excuse me, ma'am, I just lost 45 pounds. I can very easily go through that turnstile. Not a problem. I don't even have to turn sideways to get to that turnstile. And for just a brief second, I was offended. And then I realized, you know what? It's cool. You've got to brush things like that off. You've got to do it. Because if not, every little thing, every negative thing is going to bring you down. And that's why you need to get your mind focused on what you're going to do and do it. Now, let's talk psychology in the gym or when you work out. You know for a fact that when you go to the gym or when you plan on working out at home, there's always something that's going to get in the way. That phone call, that errand, that whatever, it's going to get in the way that you're going to have to take care of. Listen, 
put it aside because deep inside it is easier to rest and relax and not do anything than have to exert energy and burn calories. Stay focused in the gym. Today is a perfect example. There's the lady there, okay? She is 50, hanging on to 29, if you know what I mean. While I was there, I went a little overboard today and I did about 70 minutes of cardio. During that 70 minutes of cardio, when I was on those three different machines, she was in front of me, sitting on a bench, showing off her goods, and talking, and talking, and talking, and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. After the 70 minutes, she gets on her cell phone, makes a call, adjusts her hair, and walks out. Please go to the gym to take care of business. Now, if that's your type of business, then go to a place where there's lots of people and you can schmooze and not sweat. You better subscribe to the Fat Mime channel or else.